It is too early to talk about the formation of the cauldron for the Ukrainian armed forces in Bakhmut. As before, they are in the so-called operational encirclement. There is no cauldron of any kind. So heavy fighting is continuing. And those who are in a hurry to chatter only create problems for us. In the Donetsk direction, assault detachments continue to fight in the western part of the city of Bakhmut. The airborne troops thwart the enemy attempts to counter-attack on the flanks and support the actions of assault detachments to capture the city. The enemy storming us is well prepared. They are not convicts as some say. This is the unit that knows what they are doing. One shouldn't underestimate the opponent. They are afraid of us because our personnel is trained to use the weapons we have. Most of all, automatic grenade launchers, mortars. They are experienced and now can fire precisely and actively. When the mortar fires, the Russians usually don't move. When they hear a drone, especially at night, they minimize their movements. They only pick up their wounded when it is calm. If there is a drone in the sky, the Russians won't carry out the wounded. Bakhmut could be restored, but how many resources should be involved to knock the enemy out of here? There is a basement in every apartment block. The basements aren't small. All of it should be cleared and it will take at least a month just to check every house. The Russians mostly level Bakhmut to the ground so that there is nothing here. They just fire at the buildings where nobody lives. There are no Ukrainian soldiers there. They just burn the buildings and they fall. There are civilians over there. Three people live there, including an older woman with a broken leg. Civilians live there too, in the basement. Not all the civilians left. They say they have nowhere to go. 